Oh, I do apologize. Am I disturbing you? No, please. Do come in, Mrs. My name is Miss Alice de Bouvier. I'm Mr. Holmes' new neighbor. Oh, I didn't have the pleasure to... Uh, I am Dr. John Watson. Could we provide you with any assistance? Oh, she is not the concern, Watson. I'm... <laughs> then, what is this about? Oh, that child standing sniffling behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. But he is shivering with cold. And he is upset. What happened to him? Little Tom knocked at the wrong door. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, boy, come in. Warm yourself by the fire. Can I offer you a cup of tea, Miss de Bouvier? Well, I... It is not as though we are disturbing you-know-who, are we? I suppose not. Since you are our new neighbor, it is perhaps better that you know what he's like. You're starting to worry me. Well, Mr. Holmes is relapsing. This illness that he has seizes him when he finds himself with nothing to do. He becomes completely asocial. And alas, this is a very difficult, medically incurable case. Now this must stay between us. Of course, I understand. How very sad. But there is a cure, if only a temporary one. A thrilling inquiry. Most certainly. If he refuses this one, then his condition will worsen. Oh, I am still here, you know. I didn't fall out of the window. Very well, then. Thank you, miss. Now tell me, boy, what brings you here? It's... it's my father, sir. He's missing. I... I don't know what to do. What's his name? George Hurst, sir. Missing, eh? And what do the police say? The police? They don't believe me. They say he's just abandoned me. But that's a lie! Yeah, well, there's just the two of us now. My mother died when I was a little one. That's just one more reason for not leaving you. Your father doesn't seem the irresponsible type. He's very good to you. Well, that's right. But he has no fixed work, so he often takes odd jobs for the day. Because that's all he can find. Only this time, he didn't come home. And when was the last time you saw him? Three weeks ago. He left for a new job. But this time, he was acting a bit strange and... Angry.
three weeks. That's a long time. Well, every day I thought he would show up. And anyway, I can look up. What were you thinking? You and your father are both at risk. You should have come to me much earlier. I was afraid. I ain't got no family. And I've got no other place to go. If our landlord finds out that father left me, he'll throw me out on the street. Tom, you've been very resourceful. We shall be discreet. If only my mother was still here. Strange. In what way? He said to me, Son, I'm out on a special job. Don't you dare move from here. I think something went wrong. Very well. Your address, please, Tom. 12 Dorset Street. The first floor, door E. It's in Whitechapel, sir. But I ain't got no money to pay. Who asked for money, Tom? Your case seems to be the very medicine I need. I'll meet you there shortly. Oh, thank you, sir. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. My archive. I can always... My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. We need to help Tom find his father, Holmes. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. A map of London and its surroundings. Could be useful. Watson documents our adventures in here. Watson documents our adventures in here. These streets are too narrow for the cab, I'll have to walk. North Street. Dorset Street. This is our home, Mr. Holmes.
the old Tabard pub, North Street. Glue, probably taken from a wall. Food's running low. It's already three weeks since George Hurst's disappearance. My mother, sir, she died when I was very young. My father told me what she was like, but that's all I have. I'm sorry, Tom. My mother left me when I was very young, too. Hurst covered his bills ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security and sustenance. The roof leaks all the time. Father used to fix it. Huh. So that's why you came to see me. Tom probably reads at night. I hope you'll find my father soon. Too dark, I can't see anything. A leather satchel, what's in it? Just some old things. The old Tabard pub? Did you hear anything about it from your father, Tom? My father's a regular, but he's not a drinker, sir. It's close by on North Street. Old clothes, soiled and worn. George Hurst's work was varied. He was evidently a hard-working and valuable hand. Hi, Mr. Holmes. Well, if it isn't young Wiggins. And I see you found yourself a job. If you can call it that. I hate it. But if, if you've got any proper work for me... I just might be in need of your assistance later. Wait here. At your service, Mr. Holmes. I need to earwig to find out who is offering this special job.
equality for the working class. I'm glad I'm my own boss. I can complain only to myself. Or to Watson. The man who's offering that special job has a proper set of mutton chop whiskers. There's no one to eavesdrop on from here. There's no one to eavesdrop on from here. At your service, Mr. Holmes. At your... The longer the picket line, the shorter the strike! <laughs> no, no, no. That fellow who's offering the special jobs, he never drinks alcohol. So, the man I'm looking for has whiskers and never drinks alcohol. It's not him. This must be the man that I'm looking for. Interesting. A missing person. I should find out more. <laughs> you see that gentleman? I need you to follow him and report back to me. All right, Mr. Holmes.
chapel never changes. Dirt and beggars everywhere. I don't want to go with this bugger, everybody. I don't take a part of it. Yeah! Oh, maggot. Oh, yeah, whatever. I eat. I eat. Oh, I play a I couldn't Pumpkin! Cabbage! Cheek! They won't let me pass. I'll need to find another way. Rich folk feed meat to their dogs. Okay. Living costs are too much these days. My son has to work down the sewers. He's only Stupid kid! I'll be able to continue the chase if I climb up the chimney, but it's dangerous. Stop crying and get to work. Please, you don't have to beat him. I'll do it. I'll clean the chimney. Go on then. Still here, that's a relief.
shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? No place to hide here. I'd better go through the yard. Showing Jim from Trader Street. He's. Hey Jim, can you lend me your kit? I'm on a secret mission for Mr. Holmes. Mm -hmm. Your reward, you little toad. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. The weather's good. Last no, night was freezing. I'm not saying it doesn't get cold again. I've no money for cold. I can't lose him now. going on in the yard. Ah, oh, coat of arms. It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. Wow, a lot of expensive stuff.
I can't see what's inside. It's too dangerous to enter. I can't see what's inside. I can't see what's inside. Do only two people live here? I wish one was me. Bags of food. I like this ass. Time to report to Mr. Holmes. Let's get outside before I get caught. Wigan's tale was quite unusual. What do you make of what he found, Holmes? Wiggins did a good job. Here it is. So this man could be Lord Marsh. Huh. A lord who hangs around in a public house. Let's pay a visit to Lord Marsh. We'll pretend that we're interested in his charitable activities. Mr. Holmes, you have a visitor. Oh, just ask him to wait. I'm afraid that won't be possible. This young lady refuses to wait for anything. What? Father! Caitlin! <laughs> Miss Caitlin's boarding school was flooded. Everyone was sent home. As if it could smell any mustier. <laughs> My word, how is it possible that you have grown up so fast? You'll be staying. Wherever will we put you? Holmes, I'll give her my room, of course. What do you have to say, Kate? You're on a new case. A respectable lady who's being blackmailed? Or is it a love story between a prince and a suffragist? However did you guess? You will tell me, won't you, Father? But you'll make Watson jealous. All right, then. Have fun. I'll go and unpack. Will you help me, Mrs. Hudson? <laughs> 